Hey everybody, what's going on? Dace here, and today we are going to be jumping into my Samurai Aces Guide, uh, which I mentioned I was going to do uh, a bunch of videos ago when I was doing my normal hard and very hard clears. Uh, so yeah, anyway, I'm just getting to this now. Um, it's been a, a couple weeks since I played this, at least a couple. Um, but yeah, anyway, as you can, if you saw, I, I did drop it down to the easiest difficulty. Um, I think that's just a f an okay uh, place to start. And to be honest, there isn't much difference between the difficulty modes. So if you can beat the easiest, you can certainly work your way up to clearing very hard. It's just that you're going to need to learn a few alternate things here and there uh, that differ from yeah every earlier difficulty. So anyway, there isn't too much to say here except watch out for that shot that goes straight down the middle when he arrives, but then just stay close. Um, now I decided against covering all the different combinations you can possibly get for the first three levels, uh, and because that's just something you're going to need to figure out on your own when you play and get used to the game and whatnot. So yeah, the first level's straightforward. Same with this one for the most part. I always like to just stay close to these guys, and that way, if you're at the top of the screen right above them, you're sealing their bullets, they won't fire. On this mode, they might not even fire at all, I'm not sure I didn't experiment with that this time around. Um, but yeah, for these guys, simple stuff. If you are doing this stage when you are on stage 3 instead, then those guys will each fire 3 shots, so you just gotta be a little more careful. but. It's nothing where you need to be swaying all over the place trying to get away. It's just tap dodging. So watch out for that stuff he fires straight down and then just stay on him and then back away a little bit over to the side and boom, he's done before his next attack even goes off. So I think one thing that I will focus on is when I use my charge shot and when I recommend using a bomb, if you've never... Like if you're new to 1ccs and you want to play it more safe, that's essentially what style I'm playing here, okay? So you can see when I'm using bombs and that kind of stuff and use that as a bit of a, a learning tool, like a gauge for when you may want to consider using one. But yeah, second boss down, nothing too crazy. You just got to make sure you're taking out as much as you can since that guy has a lot of individual turrets and stuff like that and the more you play the more you're just going to see what order to take things out in just to be playing that much more efficiently I usually use a charge for here because then I'm hitting the building and that big tank thing and then typically I like to be over here right for when the guy comes out of the ground and you can just stay right on him point blanking is amazing in this game and then get as many buildings uh, destroyed as you can. I'm not using auto fire, uh, auto fire here. This is all just rapid tapping. Um, so I'm not sure if you're... Uh, I couldn't tell you if the auto fire rate is different from just what I'm doing tapping. Because I don't use it. But yeah, so anyway, stay to the side when he does that first attack. And then just stay in between or move to the side. Learn when you can get close or closer just to do that extra bit of damage since the, the missiles coming out of your character will be hitting faster than if you were at the very bottom of the screen with a faraway target. And here we are already, stage four, so just stay right in between those as the guy moves either to the left or right. Clear these out of the way. You only ever need to pay attention to the these dudes when they come forward and fire like that if they're in the back row they're not going to fire so you don't need to yeah worry about that at all so pretty easy stuff just stay on one of those to get rid of it right away you can bomb there if you want i recommend lining it up so that when the two cross over near the st uh, the top of the screen one bomb is killing both of them simultaneously Now, for both of these, well, depending on if you get the red or the yellow, they are a lot of fun if you're not using bombs, but like I said, if you're playing it safe, 
just learn when to do two bombs and you are through the fight without issue. So I start on the one side, clear the tanks, and then you have a few more that filter in. And then I just wait over here because the two ninjas, so one, two, start clearing the tanks, I take out those guys, clear the tanks again. This can be a tricky spot on, uh, okay, take out the red guy and then just stand between there. Uh, if I don't finish my thought, I will, yeah, I'll leave a note or something, but then just more or less stay down the bottom. You're not going to get hit because they're firing to the sides. Use a bomb there just to not risk anything and then just clean up these dudes. But yeah, there will be some differences when you step things up a notch in terms of difficulty, but it's not going to be so crazy that you won't be able to handle it. So you want to take these four ninjas out as quickly as possible, so just learn when they show up so that you can release a charge attack for pretty much each one, and then just back off when you know you need to. Or if you just want to make sure you don't fumble anything, then that's fine. Sometimes he'll go to one side, sometimes the other. That sound you just heard, that was a, a one-up, an extend that we just got. So we're sitting at an extra life and four bombs. So if you have never seen the method for this, it can seem like a really, really intense fight. But you just stay right in the middle. Match his position, stay in the middle, and just keep firing. Do not let up. Sometimes you will need to just make a tiny adjustment. And boom, he's toast. Second last level, here we go. So always have your charge ready, just in case. Fire that one tank down. I could have stayed on that uh, left side one a little longer first, but it still worked out. These ones aren't aggressive because it's the easiest mode. So you don't really need to worry too much. So again, have a charge ready. That should always be happening. So let that off and then stay on each one for mostly an equal amount and then just fire that. And that will clear those up without their next attack ever entering the picture because you don't want to fiddle with that. This is an easy thing to dodge, but I just... Yeah, like I said, it, you, you don't need to risk it. If you take a hit here, you still got some pretty wild stuff ahead, so... You can approach this one in different ways. I just fired that off to get rid of the side dude, and then as long as you stay right in the middle of that side attack from the side dude, like, you're fine, because they're aiming to the sides, and then just fire that into the the, the actual boss there. And the last stage already. So the thing you really got to watch for in this part is the thing that the dudes that pop up in the middle. They're going to fire straight down or they will target you like if you're at the sides. But as you can see, all I'm doing is just staying there and then moving out of the way after that last attack has targeted me. And that way there's no risk. I could have done this way, way cleaner. But yeah, like I didn't need to do that. But I just wasn't paying the closest attention when I came into this fight, so. This guy is really easy. You just move to the side and then just inch over when he does that attack and then just make sure you're not getting hit by that last shot. And then just clear up these dudes. <clears throat> One thing I will say is I'm not doing the second loop or anything. This is strictly to show you a 1cc of the first loop. So fire that off, back off, fire your bomb, and get your charged weapon uh, going again, your charged attack. So this is a very, very simple attack. I'm actually dodging more than I need to here. I realized <clears throat> that I was doing that while I was playing. And I think it was just because I hadn't played in half a month or more. So it, well, yeah, it was just what it was. So one thing guaranteed i probably like as you notice we just took a hit the first one the whole run i think what contributed to that was 
backing away when had I just stayed on him the whole time. The reason I backed away was because I couldn't remember exactly what he does because normally he's not on the screen for long enough for it to matter. Um, so I backed away, but that's precious point blanking that I could have been doing and he, I probably could have taken him down. But yeah, as you can see, that's that's the run, that's the guide. There isn't much to it. It will still take some serious attention and whatnot. So do your best. Let me know if you have any comments. Thank you so much for checking this out and we will see you next time.